All right, now that we know how to secure pages, both client side and server side, let's learn how to secure API routes in this video. And let me tell you, it is really simple. Let's begin by creating a new API route. In the API folder, create a file called test-session.js. Within the file, we add the handler. So export, default, async, receives request and response. And within the function body, we now need to first get hold of the session object. And we do it exactly like get server side props. That is using the get session function. So at the top, import get session from next auth slash client and then call the function. The argument though, since we don't have the context but rather the request, we pass in an object with the key request and the value is request as well. So we can use the shorthand syntax. This returns a promise, so we await it and assign it to a constant called session. Now that we have the session, we can respond based on the session being null or being a valid object. So if there is no session, we're going to respond with a status of 401 with a message unauthenticated user. If the user is signed in, let's send back the session as a response. So res.200.json message success and the session object. Now we do have an ESLint error, so let's change this to const handler is equal to the async function and then export default handler. And this is pretty much how you secure your API route. Let's head to the browser and test it out. We are logged out to begin with. If we now navigate to localhost 3000 slash API slash test hyphen session, we see the error response and 401 status in the network tab. Go back, sign in, navigate back to the API route, and we see the success message along with the session object. As simple as that. Now the example we have here is a pretty simple one. If you have a requirement for user specific authentication, for example, checking if a user has authorization to certain resources, you can extract the session data, make use of it in your authentication logic and respond with a 403 status probably. You might also want to handle different types of requests in different ways. But this is the basics of securing API routes with the next auth library. Use the get session function to get hold of the current session and perform the necessary authentication check. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.